Sam's biography, the sociological concept of competition is also clearly present in his coaching techniques. Obviously, and in most sports, competition is a huge driving factor of Beheim's success. With rivals such as Duke University, Pitt, Villanova, and St. John's, there are two more or more groups, or in this case teams, who are up against each other to achieve a goal that only one can attain. In their case, the goal is to win the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship. Beheim is a competitive coach with a clear goal in mind and his mindset on achieving it. A third concept is the idea of the family and the peers. Beheim has become the person that he is today with the help and support of those surrounding him. His parents had blessed him with long-term memory, height, and most importantly, the resources to allow him to pursue his career despite needing someone to take over the family business. As parents, they guided Beheim to where he is today, and their traits have rubbed off on him. His second wife, Julie, and his four children have also had great positive influence on him. The influence of his peers has also shaped him into the person he is today, whether it be his roommate Dave Bing, who helped him find a sense of identity in college, Mike Krzyzewski, coach of the rival Team Duke, Carmelo Anthony, by far the most talented player he's had, he's had the honor of coaching, or Mike Hopkins, Beheim's head assistant coach. All of these people have had great influence on Beheim's career and success as a coach. He's adopted many values and standards from them, shaping him into the successful coach he is today. The ideas presented in this book most closely relate to the sociological theory of interactionism, a perspective that focuses on how individuals interact with one another in society. As Beheim has basically mastered the art of coaching a successful team, he has also mastered the art of interacting with the people around him. He has built relationships that help him bond with his team, making them a stronger single unit, relationships that helped create the Big East, a conference that jump-started their publicity, and relationships that have shaped him as a person such as the relationship with his family and friends. I think there are a few major pros of this biography. The reader is granted full access to the behind the scenes of coaching. Through Beheim, they can learn to appreciate all of the effort it actually takes to construct, coach, and lead a team of young athletes, all while balancing life. He shares coaching stories like his struggle to keep Derek Coleman motivated in this game, as well as personal stories like his relationship with his wife and ex-wife. The book is written as if Beheim is having a personal conversation with the reader, making it much more engaging and interesting. He takes breaks to explain how certain people have truly impacted his life, be it his players, his opponents, or his wife. However, there are also a couple of cons. There's a lot of information jam-packed in this book. If you're not interested in every notable player Beheim has coached or every close game he has played, many chapters may become repetitive and boring. He also uses a lot of basketball jargon and is very informal in his reflections, which could detract away from the actual facts and content of the book. I would definitely recommend this book to those who understand and enjoy basketball. Even if you are not a Syracuse fan, Jim Beheim's life story and insight on the coaching experience provides valuable lessons that everyone can learn from. Win or lose, Beheim is not one to ever give up. Instead, he learns from his mistakes and in turn only gets better. He shows relentless efforts to build up the program, pure dedication to the institution, a drive and passion to succeed, and the perseverance to never give up. Many people have doubted Beheim, but he has never doubted a player on his team. Reading this autobiography has only made me even more excited to be a part of such a spirited atmosphere and support a team coached by, an argu by arguably one of the most respectable coaches of all time, as I will be following in my father's footsteps this fall. While I believe this book offers great life lessons and serves as an interesting read that introduces a new way of looking at sociological concepts in real life, I think this book is more geared towards sports buffs and die-hard Syracuse fans. Although I would love to see everyone read it at some point, it's an excellent, as it is an excellent read, I think it may not appeal to everyone solely based on the fact that Syracuse that basketball isn't for everyone. It does, however, provide a unique new perspective on sociology. The sociological concepts are clearly present, though, and for that reason, I believe it serves as a great representation of Chapter 4, which explores the roles and statuses in society. So ask yourself these questions. Is risk-taking always wise in situations where you have a clear goal in mind, just like Beheim had done? Do you think switching institutions would have made Beheim less of a winning coach than he is today? Go Cubes! Created using Powtoon.